batteries, a recent innovation that shines a brilliant new light on science are the future of the field. In its most basic form, battery technology has been used for over 200 years. With a noteworthy exception of LFP chemistry, the essential components utilized in modern lithium-ion batteries are either expensive or very challenging to get. This undermines the core goal of electric cars utilizing readily available materials as described in Elon Musk's renowned master plan. Tesla is working to create battery chemistries that can be manufactured in large quantities. New battery materials have been developed by scientists over a long time. One of these novel materials is graphene, which has recently experienced significant development. Experts are working on creating a new graphene battery with many potentials. What is graphene exactly? What would Tesla do with a graphene battery and how does it work? Tesla became the first car maker to market a battery-powered electric vehicle when it unveiled the Roadster in 2008. Although automakers had previously experimented with hybrid cars, they needed to be more interested in fully electric cars due to the high cost of manufacture. Yet during the past 10 years, customer preferences have evolved. This regulatory oversight has significantly risen in Europe, and manufacturers have had to keep up. Almost all automakers now sell or intend to sell an entirely electric car or, at the absolute least, a hybrid vehicle. Ford introduced all-electric Mustang Mach-E late last year part of the company's $11 billion plan to build 40 all-electric and hybrid models by 2022. And in March, Volkswagen boosted its electric vehicle goal to 17 new models by 2028 up from a previous aim of 50 models. Batteries power most of the world's electronic devices that no need to be hooked to a power source. Batteries used to store the energy needed to run a computer or other equipment drop when the battery's charge drops below a certain level. When this happens, the gadget is recharged by connecting it to an external power source, such as another battery. Electric vehicles are here to stay thanks to lithium-ion batteries. When electric vehicles didn't have lithium-ion batteries, driving ranges were limited and charging periods were long. As a result, cars can now go further between charges thanks to lithium-ion batteries. However, there are many practical limits to contemporary lithium-ion batteries. But even if they're better, they're heavier. In fact, they make electric vehicles heavier than vehicles powered by internal combustion engines. Electric vehicles still take a long time to charge and cost a lot, making them out of reach for many people. As a result, liquid or gel electrolytes must be heated cooled, and monitored for safety and ability because they're very flammable and can freeze. Lithium metal spikes can penetrate the battery separator, shorting out the cell when charging at high speeds. While solid-state batteries offer several advantages, one disadvantage is that lithium production on the anode causes the cell to physically expand, which must be considered when designing the pack. They're extremely expensive to produce, and multiple businesses are trying to lower the price to be the first to market with them. A graphene-based battery has been the subject of much attention and battery research. Touted as the next step in battery development, it's expected to eliminate several issues with lithium-ion batteries. When it comes to graphene, it's all about the hexagonal lattice. Wonder material refers to graphene, an extraordinary substance with many exceptional qualities. Graphene is the thinnest and strongest substance known to man. At just one atom thick compared to steel, it is around 200 times more powerful. In addition, graphene is a superb conductor of heat and electricity and a fascinating light-absorbing material. We can see an entirely new world because graphene is a substance that can be used in practically any business. Graphene can yield various compounds with superior qualities when mixed with other elements like gases and metals. Graphene can yield various compounds with superior qualities to discover its features and possible applications including transistors, computer chips, supercapacitors, DNA sequencing water filters, and antenna LCD or OLED touchscreens and solar cells can all benefit from graphene. Graphene is an incredibly useful material. Scientists are discovering its new uses daily. However, obtaining materials of high quality remains an issue. Numerous firms worldwide produce various grades and varieties of graphene materials, from high-quality single-layer graphene synthesized via CVD to graphene flakes from graphite in vast quantities. In addition to sensors and other high-end uses, graphene flakes, which are made in vast quantities and at lower prices, 
are utilized in a wide range of everyday items such as sports equipment, consumer electronics, and automobiles, while the battery is one of the most active areas of graphene research. Graphene is being sought after by battery manufacturers for various reasons, including its potential use in electric vehicles because of its high porosity, large surface area, extraordinary strength, and lightweight, which they hope will improve their batteries. In addition to their great charging capacity and flexibility, these materials are excellent thermal and electric energy conductors, making them ideal for energy storage. Increased electricity and faster chemical reactions in the battery are made possible by graphene's excellent electrical conductivity, which boosts power transfer and reduces heat. Graphene is less susceptible to deterioration than lithium, allowing EV batteries to last significantly longer. Other electric vehicle batteries are more expensive and less environmentally friendly than graphene batteries. Graphene lithium-ion batteries are believed to be implemented the earliest among various graphene-based battery technologies and types. Graphene supercapacitors and solid-state graphene batteries could be on the market within the next 10 years. Lithium-ion batteries may soon be replaced with graphene-sodium-ion and graphene-aluminum-iron batteries. Sodium and aluminum are far more common in nature than lithium, making them cheaper and easier to recycle. Graphene-aluminum-ion batteries, which can charge 60 times faster than lithium-ion cells and store substantially more energy than pure aluminum, may one day replace lithium-ion cells as the major power source for electric vehicles. For instance, graphene aluminum ion cells can recharge double batteries in about 1 minute and coin cells in just 10 seconds. Nanotech Energy, a Los Angeles-based startup, is one of the firms investigating graphene battery technology. A graphene-based lithium-ion battery has been developed by nanotechnology to eliminate battery safety concerns once and for all, as a true game-changer for the battery business. This is a big thanks to nanotechnology. The cathode and anode, a battery's positive and negative terminals, are now made of graphene. Since the volume of the battery electrodes fluctuates during charging and discharging, graphene can adapt. The risk of a fire resulting from an internal short circuit is reduced. In addition, because graphene is such a good conductor of electricity, the battery's internal resistance is kept lower. As a result, the battery is a nanotech device can operate at a lower internal temperature. Since overheating can lead to fires, it effectively solves this problem. In general, molecules containing a carbon atom are connected to three oxygen atoms. When exposed to high temperatures, these substances can become explosive and volatile. Because of this, nanotechnology has created a patented electrolyte solution called organolyte that is both stable and non-corrosive. A non-flammable product is easy to make and inexpensive to buy. The graphene battery electrodes must be separated by a material that allows ions to flow. Nanotech Energy is once again replacing the usual polyolefin separator with a novel material that improves the thermal stability of polyolefin. In addition, this helps to ensure the safety of the battery. Of course, you don't expect Nanotech to open up about its technology to the rest of the world because doing so would put them at the mercy of its competitors. There are still a lot of organic chemistry concepts in the term. As a result of extensive testing by Nanotech, the graphene organolyte battery has been shown to have improved thermal stability and to be fire-resistant. The company demonstrates a nail torture test and a 180-degree heating test, and a short film is given to media outlets. The typical lithium-ion battery caught fire quickly. Nevertheless, the graphene battery remained undamaged. Yet the Nanotech battery is extremely potent and fire-resistant. It charges 18 times quicker than anything else on the market and maintains over 80% of its stated capacity after 100,000, 1,400 cycles. Graphene's high electrical conductivity decreases the battery's internal resistance. These new batteries are perfect for consumer electronics, electric cars, and various electrified equipments since they can be tailored to fit any container or form factor. The graphene battery from Nanotech also has the benefit of being easy to manufacture. The same tools and processes used to create lithium-ion pouch and cylinder batteries may be used to create Nanotech's graphene battery. In late 2022, a plant in Nevada intended for their production is scheduled to open. Tesla's battery output will need to keep up with Elon Musk's plans to exponentially expand the company's electric vehicle EV industry. Graphene remains the most promising EV battery technology. 
Tesla may adopt this battery in the future to increase the range of their vehicles. That is our video for today. We hope you like it. Share all of your thoughts with us in the comments section below. Well, that's all for now. This is Big Tech Media. See you again tomorrow. Keep in mind to like, share, and subscribe.